Hi, I'm page 164. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a character. So once again, getting your base wall color down, I feel that black is a great color to kind of start a character with. That way you kind of build up off your shadows. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little goofy little monster, something I might uh, typically replace my E of my graffiti piece. So it'd be P-A graffiti monster S, still representing my E. But let's go ahead and uh, start off with the base uh, shape of the monster. And I'm gonna use the same color that I'm gonna paint my monster, a blue monster in for my sketching. Having that black as a, as a background, as a base, definitely eliminates spending a lot of time having to shade in all that black. And you can just kind of come in and see what I'm doing. I'm kind of just building this blue into the black and only as my base color. Doing some of the same flare techniques as I've shown in the other videos. Just kind of working my way all the way around the lip with this blue. And again, I mean, whether realistic or cartoonish, the black really serves as a good base to fade into. I also came in with a little bit of a darker blue, but you can still see how I'm kind of utilizing that black to build my shades up off. Uh, got these big bubbly eyes popping up. I'm gonna go ahead and re-outline them white and color them in. Getting into character, it's definitely better to use thinner tips and outline tips. Kind of like the graffiti piece itself where you're building up from a primer and building into it with the cuts and the fades and everything we talked about. Now I'm gonna come in and also add a little bit of background, kind of the same type of landscape background that we worked on in other pieces, just by fading in my darker color purple. bit of a fatter tip we get a nice fade easy right now going through and just getting all my outline done some areas doing some thicker lines kind of getting this set up for all the highlights I'll be doing in my green All right, I'm working my way through this character, looking pretty shabby, shabby. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this green, something's gonna complement the blue, do a couple of highlights, and you know, just have a lot of fun. Whenever you do do characters, you know, like I said, it's just kind of a format of how to break it down. Whether it's realistic or cartoonish, just get your base color down, get a good background color going, use the right type of tips, and just kind of break it down and format it right back out. This green is really gonna set it off.